Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 12th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 29, Ezekiel chapter 38, and John chapter 4. And our thought is David's wonderful final prayer. We tend to give only passing attention to our Chronicles reading because our other readings in Ezekiel 38 and John 4 provoke so much thought. But we would be remiss if we didn't touch on Chronicles because here we have the climax of the end of David's life. Consider the scene. He had made great provision for building the temple. Others had followed his example and the people rejoiced because they were, had given willingly for with a whole heart they had offered freely to the Lord. First Chronicles 29 verse 9. Now consider carefully how David offers the final public prayer of his life. Yours, O Yahweh, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Verses 11 to 13. Now take special note of the sudden change of thought in the prayer. David's mind, his vision of life, and all that it really is, causes him to say, But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able thus to offer willingly? For all things come from you, and of your own we have given you. For we are strangers before you, and sojourners, as all our fathers were. Our days on the earth are like a shadow, and there is no abiding. Verses 14 and 15. David was totally honest and faced the true reality of the human position in his thinking in total contrasts to God's. Next, he becomes very personal about his relationship with God. I know, my God, that you test the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. In the uprightness of my heart, I have freely offered all these things. And now I have seen your people who are present here, offering freely and joyously to you. Direct their hearts towards you. Verses 17 to 18. David now died. And Solomon became king. His psalm, number 17, is a prayer. It provides a fitting epitaph to the thoughts we have culled. Note the last verse. As for me, I shall uphold, behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with your likeness. David has set us a heart-moving example to follow. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.